Well, for 133 days, Hassan al Qantar has been stranded at the Kuala Lumpur airport. Hassan left his home country of Syria after the civil war broke out seven years ago. He went to work in the United Arab Emirates, but after refusing to go back to Syria to join the army, he was denied a new passport by the Syrian embassy. He fled to Malaysia, but failed to obtain a permanent visa and now is unable to leave the airport. Hassan Nadal is joining us from the Kuala Lumpur airport. Hassan, uh, good morning to you. Now, I know you're documenting your experience in the airport through Twitter. Some days are good, some days are bad for you uh, it really I can't imagine to be in this situation how are you feeling right now uh, uh, hello how are you uh, well actually I'm so uh, ready for this to be ended uh, I thought that I'm going to use uh, this but uh, I can't anymore uh, I'm so tired exhausting uh, this part for most of the time I used to be more optimistic and uh, but as long as I still have hope uh, I'm uh, ready to uh, to keep uh, fighting for uh, what it is my right as a human. Uh, counting the day just to set free and uh, to be a normal guy like uh, any other guy in the world, to be safe, uh, legal, with some dignity, uh, to have a work, just the basic human rights. Now tell us about your day-to-day -day life because you've been in the airport for close to four months. Where are you sleeping? What are you eating? How are you getting access to food? Uh, I don't have an access to the duty free, unfortunately, but I uh, depend on some of the staff here to go and bring me sometimes a meal of McDonald's or a cup of coffee just to change my mood and to feel that I'm a normal person. But uh, the airlines here are providing me uh, uh, three meals a day, but it's uh, the same meal three times a day for the last uh, 133 days. Uh, I uh, now uh, try to sit at the first place on the uh, airport, uh, not to, uh, to meet a lot of people. So under the stairs, uh, there I am sleeping. For the first 50 days, I was sleeping on a chair or on the floor. But after that, some uh, supporters reached me and uh, they brought me a mattress. Uh, so uh, just to make things easier for me, uh, shower is a little bit of challenge and uh, to keep my clothes uh, clean uh, it's a, a, an airport there's no privacy there's no place to dry my clothes uh, i'm always uh, my clothes are always dirty and it's annoying me I, I cannot sleep because of that sometimes yeah no kidding hassan i know it's really tough for you there is a campaign here in canada good luck to you and uh, again hopefully we'll be checking in with you again shortly